Hello, Jazz Boy. Hello, Stargate. Hello, Lully. Agnes. Sweet thing. Hello, K Wolfie. Ida, good evening. Isma says, long as five minutes of my life. I'm five minutes late. Actually, you guys are five minutes early. What can I say? Say no. Alexia says, Fun fact Did you know that Laney is actually a band? I'm gonna say yes. It's their lead singer's birthday today. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah, t today was a, it was a funny day. I didn't know they were a band. I did not. I didn't know. Now I know. I'll never call Lainey a dude. I thought the, the singer was Lainey. Turns out, it's a band. Marina says, hello to Brazil. Hello, Brazil! Can you hear me? <laughs> Tassi says, people don't forgive. It's true. Uh, notice how I didn't say sorry. I was just acknowledging. Actually, a band. Hello, Brazil. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on in this uh, intro, but I'm enjoying it. Ooh. That reminds me of like uh, Spirited Away. Raichi Sakimoto, I think that's the name. Yeah. Uh, Robbie still thinks that Lainey is actually a solo artist. Even after all this information has been, you know, given out for free. He still thinks that Lainey is the singer. But he's not. Lainey is a band and Les is bald. Alright, so moving on swiftly. Um, in the UK, we had some good news today. Apparently, we're over the peak of coronavirus. That's pretty good, isn't it? But we're over the peak. And apparently, at no point was um, the NHS over capacity and overwhelmed. I don't know about... I don't know about on an individual level. I'm sure there were pr there were lots of staff, NHS staff, who were f like individually overwhelmed. But as an NHS, apparently, we 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 kept it under capacity, which is really well done. Just shows what you can do when there's a group effort. Um, I was going to say, speaking of a group effort, and then go into the song, but it doesn't really, doesn't really make sense. Um, the song is called Make You Love Me. And it's not that, I can't make you love me. It's not that. It's a, a different song. Different song. Same, same name. 
but um, but different song. A bit like Zac Efron and Zac Abel. Different people, similar name. Um, I did this with Jerome Vandal, um, and we actually wrote this with two other people. So one of them, I don't know if you know, uh, a guy called Shaka. Who knows Shaka here? Um, amazingly talented artist, producer, songwriter. Um, pretty sure he can DJ too. He can do everything. He can dance. He's a funny dude. He's smart. He's just an all-round, just talented dude. Um, maybe, maybe it's the jungle, the jungle that makes you go on and say. What was his, what was his like most famous song? That's that's his most catchy. One hundred percent. I can never ever stop singing that song when he plays it. Um, don't know what to do to me. Oh. Uh. J five is on my one. I'm like man down, baby. Wanna take my life? Yeah, he did this. She don't wanna be no side. She just wanna be my wife. Calling up the lights like man down, baby. Wanna take yeah. my life? Yeah. So I made it with Jerome Vandal, him, Shaka, and uh, Danny Shah, who's also a legend of the game. Um, I did Unstable with Danny Shah and Still Want You, I Know We're Naked. Yeah, it's just a bit of an all round dude. So yeah, it was a fun day. It's a fun day in the studio. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's raining pretty heavily in the background, but it's also really sunny, so I feel like... Ah! There is a rainbow! Nice! Wait, let's just check that out first. Woo! It's so beautiful! It's a double rainbow! Oh, never seen something so beautiful in my life! It's a rainbow! Oh. If anyone doesn't get the reference, this is going to seem so weird. That's a good rainbow, though. Wow. That is lovely. That seems really obnoxious when there's something so beautiful in the sky to like turn the camera around and be like, okay, enough looking at that. Now look at me. I'm ready. Witness me. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. You were my girl, black 
today's been a good day. I uh, somehow managed to wake up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. That's sick. Literally, I managed to get sleep at a reasonable hour, like maybe one in the morning, right? Woke up at 7. And I was just thinking, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get up. Anna says, Zach, today is the day. I feel it. It's, it was the day. And yeah, just um, had a coffee, felt really productive. And then, you know, did some some phone calls, some life admin. And then um, got to about, you know, 3.30 of being really productive. And then, uh, yeah, just took a nap for about an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, so I've been awake for a solid hour and 17 minutes. And they've been, they've been great. They've been good minutes. Um, should we answer some questions? Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that, there are some pretty, pretty interesting ones from Isma, especially. Um, <laughs> should I, should I even entertain it? Should I go there? Ah, fuck it. Let's go there. Let's go there. What do you call... No, I'm not even going to read it out. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave that one there and move on. That wasn't a question. You had the answer already. Um... Do -do 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 I'm literally listening to your music now. Well, in a way. Yeah, F everyone was just then. Because that was my song. And, and you were listening, unless you were listening to another song on headphones. Uh, what microphone did you get? I went for a manly microphone. I felt so insecure in my own masculinity that I felt the need to, to buy a manly microphone just to kind of make me feel like more of a man. Um, and I'm really happy with that choice. I feel, look, I feel like my facial hair started growing even more. Um, and yeah, just feel fantastic. Uh, is Les bold? He is. He's bold. He's bold. And Laney's a band. Um, I really want to see you live. Have you ever done a show in Nottingham? I feel like I have. <laughs> Let me check. That's really bad. Uh, Nottingham Zach Abel. Yeah. The Bodega. Sold out, it says. Come on. It's done a sh sold out show. Nottingham. Jeez. Come on. Yeah, I remember that. That was a... That was a very small gig. Um, <laughs> I really should have known that. Uh, I think there was like, there was like 200 capacity and it was snowing and we literally went from the hotel. We drove from the hotel to the stage uh, and just went straight on. And it was one of the, it was one of the only times that, uh, <laughs> that we've ever done that normally we like chill backstage but there, there there wasn't a backstage area there was literally a cupboard um and yeah <laughs> uh cool how cabin feverish do you feel right now pretty cabin feverish i haven't left the house in a very long time uh do -do 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 is it starting to look like a triple rainbow? No, the rainbow has gone. Um, how are you so productive? I'm not. I'm really not that productive. I need to be more productive. Uh, yeah. Emily says, do you have roommates? Yeah, I've got three. Um, you've only seen one of them, but I've got three, I promise. Uh, what color is your eyes? Brown slash green. What are they? That's really weird. 
are so weird. They're like hazel. Sorry for uh, exposing you guys to that. That was a pretty intense stare right there. Uh, who's an underrated singer in your opinion? Great question. All right. What's his name? Uh, Cameron Bloom. <laughs> Cameron Bloomfield. Cameron Bloomfield. He's sick. So good. So underrated. Um, all right. Check this. Check this. He did a cover of um, Get It Together. So he, he plays a... Uh, he plays loads of instruments, actually. And sings. I've been hurt so many times That it got to a point When I decide that Woo! Go on, camera! I can't do this anymore I need someone that needs me I need someone He's playing keys as well. Put his uh, Instagram. Just mm. I don't know what his Instagram is. It's probably at Cameron Bloomfield. This is his name. Anyway, yeah. He's an underrated singer. Uh, also, Luke Burr is very, very underrated as well. So, so good. Uh, who was uh, <laughs> Reese Lewis? That shirt. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, who was your biggest musical inspiration growing up? Probably Michael Jackson. He's just sick. He's like amazing dancer, amazing singer. The songs are so catchy. Production's on point. Just a G. Um, and also in loads of his videos, he was hanging out with kids and I was a kid. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna meet Michael Jackson one day. That's so cool. So yeah, it was just the, uh, look, it's the whole package. Um, all right, let's get someone in. Ah, if you could have a conversation with any musician, alive or dead, um, who would you choose and why? Probably Michael Jackson or Bill Withers. Uh, I'd also love to chat to Stevie Wonder. That'd be sick. Just get into their head a little bit. Find out what they're thinking about. Tiwa45 says, mate, hanging out with kids is, kids is not a good look. I get that now. But when I was six, I was like, oh, he's hanging out with people my age. Great. I'll hang out with them. It'll be nice. Dope. Um, yeah. Moving on swiftly. Uh, who have we got? Who have we got in the chat? 